Imagine reaching for a band-aid after a minor cut, trusting that it'll help you heal. But what if that band-aid is a hidden source of harmful chemicals? The medicine cabinet, a common fixture in our homes, is often a trusted source of relief and recovery. Yet a startling report has turned this trust on its head, revealing a hidden danger in our band-aids. This household staple found in millions of medicine cabinets nationwide is no longer just a simple remedy for minor injuries. Instead, it has become a potential source of toxic exposure. Leading watchdogs have discovered the presence of the chemical fluorine in more than two dozen different bandages from some of the most well-reputed brands. This includes names like Band-Aid and Curad, brands that we've trusted for years. Fluorine, a chemical also used in the making of rocket fuel, can cause skin burns and eye damage. But the most dangerous scenario is when it's inhaled, but that's not all. The report also uncovered the presence of PFAS chemicals, often used in adhesives. These chemicals can easily enter our bloodstream, lodging themselves within healthy tissue and damaging our immune system, liver, kidneys, and other organs. And what's most troubling, these harmful chemicals come in direct contact with open wounds. This alarming fact was pointed out by Dr. Linda Birnbaum, a renowned toxicologist and former head of the National Toxicology Program. We often use band-aids without a second thought, trusting them to protect our wounds and aid in the healing process. However, this report serves as a stark reminder that not everything in our medicine cabinet is as safe as it seems. So the next time you reach for a band-aid, pause. Remember that this seemingly harmless strip could be a carrier of harmful chemicals. It's a sobering thought, one that prompts us to question, are we healing or are we unknowingly causing more harm? So next time you reach for a band-aid, remember, it might be doing more harm than good. Let's dive deeper into these harmful chemicals lurking in your band-aids, fluorine and PFAS. Fluorine, a highly reactive and electronegative chemical, is often used in making rocket fuel, a testament to its potent nature. In its pure form, it can lead to skin burns and eye damage, but the real danger lies in its inhalation. Then we have PFAS, short for pair and polyfluoroalkyl substances. These are a group of man-made chemicals that have been used in various industries around the globe since the mid-20th century. PFAS are sometimes used in manufacturing adhesives, which is likely why they're found in bandages. But how do these chemicals get into our bodies? Well, PFAS can easily enter the bloodstream after a person drinks water or eats food laced with them. Once in the bloodstream, PFAS can lodge themselves within healthy tissue where they can begin to damage the immune system, the liver, the kidneys, and other organs. PFAS substances contain bonds between carbon and fluorine atoms, creating one very resilient chemical that can remain in the environment for years or even decades. This resilience is why they're often called forever chemicals. But band-aids aren't the only place you'll find these chemicals. They're everywhere. They're in water and stain-repellent products and even non-stick cookware. Teflon, the kitchen staple non-stick coating, is made with a fluorocarbon called polytetrafluoroethylene, or PTFE, and it's not just in objects we touch or use. PFAS have also been detected in tap water and human blood. A report by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey found PFAS in the blood of 97% of Americans. So the next time you reach for a Band-Aid, remember it's not just a simple piece of adhesive, it's a product that could potentially expose you to harmful chemicals that can linger in your body and the environment for a long time. These harmful chemicals are not just in your Band-Aids, they're possibly in your water, your cookware, and even your blood. You're probably wondering, are my Band-Aids safe? Well, let's see which brands were tested and what the results showed. In a united effort to expose this hidden danger, consumer watchdog blog Momovation and Environmental Health News enlisted an EPA-certified lab to examine 40 bandages from 18 different brands. The mission? To uncover PFAS chemicals lurking in the absorbent pads and adhesive flaps of bandages sold at major retailers like CVS, Walmart, Rite Aid, Target, and Amazon. The results were, to put it lightly, disconcerting. Out of the 40 bandages tested, detectable levels of fluorine were found in 26. That's well over half of the samples tested. But which brands exactly are we talking about? The bandages that contain high levels of fluorine, above 100 parts per million, include some household names. We're talking about Band-Aid, Care Science, Curad, CVS Health, Equate, First Honey, Right Aid brand, Solimo, which is Amazon's brand, and Up and Up, Target's brand. 
Dr. Linda Birnbaum, a toxicologist who co-led the lab testing, voiced her concerns. She said, because bandages are placed upon open wounds, it's troubling to learn that they may be also exposing children and adults to PFAS. She further emphasized that the data clearly shows PFAS are not needed for wound care. Therefore, it's important for the industry to take action and opt for PFAS-free materials to protect the public. Now let's take a step back and consider the larger picture. These bandages are sold at major retailers across the country and found in millions of medicine cabinets. This isn't a small, isolated issue. It's a widespread concern that affects us all. So, next time you're shopping for band-aids, you might want to think twice before picking up these brands. The health risks associated with these forever chemicals are far too significant to ignore. We owe it to ourselves and our loved ones to be informed and make safer choices. Next time you're shopping for band-aids, you might want to think twice before picking up these brands. The problem of PFAS is much bigger than your medicine cabinet. It's everywhere. This statement might sound like an exaggeration, but it's uncomfortably close to reality. PFAS or PER and polyfluoroalkyl substances are not just found in bandages. They've infiltrated our daily lives in ways that most of us are completely unaware of. One of the most common places you'll find PFAS is in your kitchen. The wonder chemical that makes your cookware non-stick is a type of PFAS. Yes, Teflon, the household name for non-stick coating, is made with a fluorocarbon called polytetrafluoroethylene. So every time you whip up a quick scrambled egg or stir-fry your favorite veggies, you're likely using a product laced with PFAS. But the reach of PFAS extends beyond the kitchen. They found their way into menstrual products too, and not just any products, but ones marketed as organic. Tests conducted on certain brands revealed high levels of PFAS. In some cases, the levels reached into the thousands of parts per million. The omnipresence of PFAS becomes even more alarming when we consider their resilience. PFAS substances contain bonds between carbon and fluorine atoms, creating a chemical that can remain in the environment for years or even decades. This isn't a problem that's going away anytime soon. And the most unsettling fact? PFAS have been detected in our tap water and yes, even in our blood. A report by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey found PFAS in the blood of 97% of Americans. That's almost the entire population. In summary, PFAS are not just a hidden danger in your medicine cabinet, but a silent invader in our daily lives. They're in our kitchens, our bathrooms, our water, our blood, and even in products we trust for personal care. From your kitchen to your bathroom, PFAS is a silent invader. It's time we opened our eyes to the widespread presence of these forever chemicals. Knowing about the problem is the first step. Now it's time to take action. So what can we do to protect ourselves and our loved ones from these potentially harmful forever chemicals? The answer lies in our choices and our voices. Firstly, we can choose safer alternatives. When looking for bandages, opt for brands that are transparent about their materials and manufacturing processes. There are PFAS-free options out there. And by choosing them, we're voting with our dollars, telling manufacturers that we prioritize our health over convenience. And it's not just about bandages. Remember, these forever chemicals are found in a variety of everyday products, from non-stick cookware to water repellents. So, we need to be vigilant and make informed decisions about what we bring into our homes. But it's not just about personal choices. We need to raise our voices too. Start by spreading awareness. Share the knowledge you've gained with your friends, family, and social networks. The more people know about the dangers of PFAS, the more pressure we can put on manufacturers to make safer products. Furthermore, we can demand transparency and safer practices from companies. Write to the brands you love and ask them about their use of PFAS. If they're using these chemicals, urge them to find safer alternatives. We can also reach out to our representatives. Ask them to support legislation that regulates the use of PFAS and other harmful chemicals. Remember, they're there to serve us, and our health should be a top priority. And finally, we must not forget the importance of continued research. Support the scientists and watchdog groups studying these chemicals and their effects on our health. Their work is crucial in helping us understand the full extent of the problem and finding solutions. Remember, you have the power to demand better, safer products. Let's use it, because your health and the health of your loved ones should never be compromised.